Welcome back to the Marketing Ninja Podcast with Manuel Suarez, CEO of Attention Grabbing Media and author of number one bestseller, Marketing Magic. So what does it take to build a brand? Let's take a broad look at some of the initial steps. You gotta identify your target audience. In other words, who are you selling to? There's somewhere around 8 billion people on the planet. I guarantee you one thing. Most of those people will never buy your products. Most of the people are not interested in your products or services. So how do you find who will be interested? A lot of success in the game of marketing is to be able to locate who the audience is. I always say that the worst commercials in the world will sell a boatload of products and services to the right audience. The best commercials in the world will go broke to the wrong audience. Simple as that. So you got to know who your audience is. Market research. You got to understand the competition, any related market trends and consumer behavior. Create a brand identity. You want to create a brand name, logo, color scheme, etc. But how do we do these steps? Let's explore how AI can be used to help us with this. For this example, our goal will be to create a brand new supplement brand. The first thing we want to do is define our target audience. These exact steps apply to whatever business you want to create or you want to launch, no matter what that is. Service business, products business, digital products business, no matter what that is, 100% applicable. Exact same steps. So we want to define our target audience. So let's have ChatGPT help us with this. This is a prompt we will use. Please create a summary of the key demographics and interests for a target audience in the industry niche for my product service. So we're going to look at this video right here from Jules doing exactly this. Okay, so let's get ChatGPT to help us develop a basic description of our target audience. Now, of course, you can go way more in depth with this, but we're going to just start with a basic prompt and see what it generates for us. So first things first, we're in ChatGPT right now, and we're going to select GPT-4. Now, GPT-4 is part of ChatGPT+, Plus, which is the paid version, and I highly recommend it if you want to have a better experience. It's just going to produce better results. So we change it to GPT-4, which you have to do manually every time, by the way. But we're going to go ahead and just put this prompt in there and fill in the blanks. So we are, this prompt says, please create a summary of the key demographics and interests for a target audience in the supplement industry. And we're going to focus primarily on gummy vitamins. So we're going to say gummy vitamins for, maybe I don't have these worked out exactly yet, but I'm going to list a few that I'm interested in launching. So vitamin C, hair, skin, and nails, D3, multivitamins, turmeric, etc. And let's see what it makes for us. All right. So it created kind of like bullet points of the various aspects of our target audience. So I'm actually going to ask it to create a summarized. Perfect. So we're going to go ahead and take that and we're going to save it into a separate document. Okay, so there is our target audience description. So hold on to that because we're going to need it for other steps here. So that's target audience. So in this particular example, we got that it said the target audience for gummy vitamin supplements spans a diverse range of individuals age 18 to 65, including both men and women who prioritize their health, well-being, and personal care. This group encompasses fitness enthusiasts, vegetarians, vegans, busy professionals, and holistic health practitioners. Additionally, it includes those with specific dietary restrictions or allergies and parents or caregivers responsible for their family's nutritional needs. Overall, these consumers seek convenient, enjoyable, and effective solutions for maintaining a balanced lifestyle, supporting their fitness goals, and enhancing their appearance and addressing potential nutritional gaps, okay? That's basically an overall view of what the target audience is. Of course, you have to get a lot more micro than 18 to 65 because that's a lot of people and that's not how you market. These people are entirely different and how they communicate and how you want to communicate to them is very different at each different level, right? So you can get very micro every step of the way. So now it's time to put together a little market research. For this one, we'll use this prompt. Generate a detailed market research report for a small business in industry. That's where you come in that you have to, that's the work that you have to put in. That's where your industry goes without an established brand name, incorporating our existing target audience research below and product service information also below, focusing on marketing trends, market trends, competitors, and opportunities for growth and differentiation. Target audience research, you're going to paste it right there. Product service information, add info right here. The more detailed, the better. 
So on that bracket information in yellow, you're gonna enter as much information as possible about your brand or your service and what you're trying to go after. This is where you get inspired. This is your part of giving it the input so it can generate what you want. If you don't give it good information, you're not gonna get a good response back. The magic is when you actually pour your heart into it. So let's see what it does. Okay, so now let's use ChatGPT to help us generate some market research. Now, of course, we can go into way more detail on this, but we're going to get just a basic idea of some market research that we can then use to do these initial steps of building this brand. So to do this, we created a prompt and this prompt. So it says generate a detailed market research report for a small business in the supplement industry without an established brand name, which we haven't figured out yet. Incorporating our existing target audience research, which is going to be below and product service information also below focusing on market trends, competitors and opportunities for growth and differentiation. I already copied and pasted our target audience research that we generated earlier. Uh, this is a fill in the blank, which I added already. And then we want to add our product and service information. The more detail, the better. So let's go ahead and just put gummy vitamins for vitamin C, multivitamins, B3, hair, skin, and nails, turmeric, et cetera. So those are the ones that we're thinking with creating. Maybe they're not finalized yet, but that's what we're, we're thinking of uh, doing there. Let me change that to et cetera. All right. Let's go ahead and send this in. Again, make sure this is on GPT-4 for better results. Okay, so there is our market research. Now we could look it over, make any changes we wanted to by doing some follow-up prompts, but we're going to go ahead and just copy and paste this onto our document over here. That way we just have it ready and available to do the next steps of our brand building. Wow, market research report, just like that. We got all that data. You would think that that was edited to speed it up. No, that was the actual in real time speed of the platform to give us that response, right? Pretty incredible stuff. So it's getting formed right now, right? Now we got the executive summary, for example, here. It starts with like this. This market research report focuses on the supplement industry, specifically gummy vitamins for a small business without an established brand name. With a target audience of individuals age 18 to 65, this report examines current market trends, identifies key competitors, and offers insights into growth opportunities and differentiation strategies. All right, we're going along. Think about whatever your business is, and that's what goes in there, right? And the part of describing it, like anybody wants to give me an idea of what their business is? Anybody? What's that? Travel. Travel. So you're a travel agent? Yeah. You're showing people like opportunities on travel and helping them book vacation packages and stuff like that. If you go back to the prompt that we just showed you guys, you take that industry right there. We put it right here. Generate a detailed market research report for a small business in the travel industry without an established brand name, incorporating our existing target audience research below. And then you put the research in here and then you over here in this section to describe it. So you got to go in there and fill that in product service information. We specialize in helping people find their dream vacation locations. And we also set them all up and we help them come up with agendas and plans so they can actually have an incredible experience in their vacation spot and all that good stuff. You go in there and you describe it. The more you describe it, the more the return you're gonna get from that particular platform. Historically, my audience has been 47 years old to 55 years old that are looking to travel with their children, right? You get specific and you get a really good response back. Hey, thanks for listening. If you enjoyed the podcast, go ahead, leave us a review and subscribe to tune in for future episodes. And if you're looking for a team that'll go above and beyond for you and your brand, go to talktoaninja.com today.